Hey, what's up guys? It's Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you guys part three of my Clan War series, and we're going to talk all about the battle day. So after the preparation phase is over, after you've donated troops, rearranged your base, and done everything you need to get ready, you finally have the war period, which is going to last for 24 hours. So during the battle day, you actually get a chance to attack twice. So let's say you're having a 50 on 50 clan war, you can attack two different bases. You're not allowed to attack the same base twice. The whole premise of clan wars is the clan that gets the most stars wins the war. So you're looking to attack bases, get preferably two or three stars, and that will help contribute to your team. So during the battle day, you're going to have a target that's going to be visible that says recommended target. This base is pretty close to you as far as your attack strength and defense strength goes. So if you're looking for a base to attack, generally try to attack the recommended target. That way, like I said in my last video, you're not attacking someone too weak or someone too strong. And this way it splits the bases apart for your team pretty evenly and it'll let you get the most stars for your entire team. So let's say I attack a base and I get two stars. If my teammate attacks the base again and he gets three stars, in total we're only going to get three stars for that base. So the maximum amount of stars you can steal from a single base is three stars. So you have to be sort of strategic about which bases you plan to attack. Generally it's better to attack a base that hasn't had anything stolen from it yet than trying to one-up one of your clanmates and try to improve from something like two to three stars. So as far as building an army goes, it will be your only cost during clan wars. You do have to spend the elixir to build up your troops, but if you do attack a base, you do get a very small amount of loot. Um, so you do get a small amount of loot when you attack, and if you do get at least one star on the base, you are going to get a big war bonus, which you'll see on the top left of your clan wars minimap. So you can see here, I got over 800,000 in war bonuses, and the thing is you have to win your clan war in order to get those bonuses. So if I actually win this clan war, I think I was going against Daddy and Godson, I would receive that huge bonus. But if you do lose the clan war, you're going to get significantly less loot. So that's why it's really important that you win and you put all your effort into finding the right bases to attack. During clan wars, you can view attack replays for your enemy and allied war bases. So if you check the war log, you can click that. You can see who's been attacking, see how much percentage they've got during the war. And it's pretty useful. So say if I'm attacking a base that one of my clan mates has already attacked, go ahead and re view that replay. And you can see where all the traps are, where the hidden Teslas are, uh, as well as what type of clan castle troops they have. So the war log feature is going to be very useful for attacking bases. Some other notes during the battle day period, shields are not affected during this, so you don't lose a shield if you attack someone. Your active shield does not protect you. As far as the clan castle troops go, like I said in the previous video, after each attack, they're automatically replenished. So if you have someone donate to you during the preparation day, if people attack you during the battle day, don't worry, everything will be replenished every single time. As well as your traps, your heroes, your inferno towers, your expos, after each attack, they will automatically be refilled. Don't worry, you don't have to focus on that. So pretty much a wrap up on battle day. You want to find your recommended target. You do get two attacks. You want to attack and get the most stars that you can for your team. In total, at the end of the war day, it's going to count who has the most stars between the clans. And that's sort of the premise of clan wars. You're trying to get the most stars. And if you get the most stars, you do win the battle. So on the very next video, we're going to talk about the wrap up of clan wars and what you actually get for winning the war. So we talked about those loot bonuses earlier. I'll show you guys the screen of the aftermath. And then also we'll talk about where the future of clan wars can go and what should we be expecting from Clash of Clans in the future. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace out.